All right, so here's where I got the sheet. So we'll add a new plane, we'll create a material, the shader editor, so we add an image node, and then I downloaded that so it'll be in my downloads. The new blender is sorted by date if you want, which is really nice. So now we'll go ahead to go to shaded mode and you can see the sprite here. And then we'll take alpha and hook it up to alpha. Hopefully there's an alpha channel for this sprite. And then we set up the material to have alpha. Clip shadows. And then um, since this is a sprite, we'll go ahead and go right to emissive as well. So now we'll go ahead and do some of the UV mapping to make it a sprite. So we'll go to UV editor, switch to the image, we'll switch the cursor mode to 2D cursor and we're already at the bottom left. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I think that since it's 10 steps, it's 0.1. Yep. All right, and this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so that'd be 0.2. Oops. There we go. So now we have our sprite basis. It looks like her foot goes right along the bottom of that. That's kind of a bad move for mip mapping. You have to disable mip mapping anyway in sprites though. But you don't want anything too close to the edges because you'll get like clipping issues sometimes. So anyway, we have a sprite here. And it's mapped, but we need to be able to have each character move, right? So we have add input UV map. And then add input object info, add converter, combine, or no, we want vector math, add, and then we'll do color. So now, when we go to the object properties, we go to viewport display, there's a color here. If I set it to zero, nothing will change because if you add one to it, that moves it all the way over. However, if we add 0.1, that's the next thing over on the sheet. Oops. All right, so for this animation, we go to zero and we'll hit I for insert keyframe and then we have to bring up the dope sheet and the key it's important the interpolation mode you want constant interpolation so we go to the next frame over and then we do point one and then we hit I for insert go to the next frame over point two insert point three insert. So we can make sprite actions this way. Alright, so point 0.9 doesn't exist, so instead we'll go back to 0 and hit insert. Alright, so now when we go to logic editor, if we do keyboard, spacebar, action, plain action, because I didn't name it character or whatever, 
And we'll say ends on frame 10, I think. And then we will have loop end and tap. Whoa. All right, so I'm going to have to go to my dope sheet again. Select all keys, key, interpolation mode, constant. There we go. All right, so I'm going to go back to the logic editor. And that's not working. Ping pong. Oh, because it's on tap. Here, let me turn that off. Flipper. So when you hold space, it does a front flip. You let go, it does a back flip. So we can create sprite actions and use them just like an armature action with this system. So we could have this, instead of being plain action, name it flip. So we go to the NLA editor. We go to plane. We'll name it flip. Mark it saved. And you can create another animation. So we do duplicate. Go to the dope sheet. Grab all of these and do delete. So now we're on flip two. We bust open the UV editor again. So we're gonna go up one to where she's got her little gun aiming down while running. All right, so to do that, we again bust open properties. And then her color, we're gonna add 0.1 to green. Or sorry, 0.2. So now we're one frame up. Should be. Let me look at the UV sheet. Yeah, that's one frame up. So we'll do on frame zero, insert that keyframe. Go over a frame. Add point one to R. Insert that. Go over a frame. Point two. So one thing to understand about sprites is you're not going to be able to blend these. That won't work. So let's see, animation's just about done here. And then for the last frame, we'll go back to zero again. And then select all the keys, do key, interpolation mode, constant. And then, so when we hit space, it's doing the flip, right? Now, go to the logic editor. If we hit mouse one, to go to the end. There we go. Hmm. Oh yeah, I have to set them on different layers. Then again, this isn't supposed to continue playing after you release spacebar. We're just going to do play. Strange. 
So one animation is overriding the other right now. So we can do mouse invert and hook this up. Let's see if that works. And then do keyboard invert spacebar and see if this works. So with Python, this is going to be like a million times easier because you can just set object color directly instead of using the animations. But I assumed this would work. Um, the problem is, is this isn't shutting off. So when you release spacebar, this should not continue because continue is not checked. Oh. This animation's not even playing. What's going on here? Let's see what we did here. Oh, plain action. So apparently I was editing the wrong action. So when we go back to the logic editor, this should make more sense. Plain action. Derp. Yay! So yeah, I um, was editing the wrong animation apparently. But there we go. We have a sprite with sprite actions. And the neat thing about this is we can duplicate them, right? And then use a different keyboard key. and they're independent of each other. So you could have a hundred of these guys on the screen and it probably wouldn't affect your uh, frame rate too bad. All right, thanks for watching. There's how to make sprites and 2D games in UPBGE in Blender 2.9. Let's see here. It says somewhere based on Blender, whatever, whatever, or at least it did. They keep moving around the stuff in the UI though, so I guess that makes it hard for everybody. Alright, thank you for watching.